What's up, my beautiful Aries? Trust your intuition because it led you here with divine intention. So let's see what's going on for you. So I wanna do a part one and a part two of this reading. The part one is gonna cover the first full moon in Capricorn and see what it kind of did to you, the impact it had on you. And the second full moon is going to be, it's also in Capricorn. We're gonna get a little sneak preview of that. So right now today, June 28th is a last quarter moon in Aries. Last quarter moon meaning it comes between a full moon and a new moon. So this is really just kind of seeing the moon cycle in between both Capricorn full moons, which I feel like is a pretty rare event that it happens two times in one season. Cancer season. So let's get started with this last quarter moon in Aries, see where it's kind of left you off, Aries. It is in your sign. All right, what's going on for Aries? What do they need to see? What's the energy for this last quarter moon in Aries? What is it that Aries needs to see? We have RIP. Here lieth my fears and insecurities. I love that. 57, everybody, does, everybody dies, but not everybody lives. We are here to feel infinity in a finite body. I love that. Okay. Interesting. So I feel like right off the bat, yeah, we're done with bullshit. We're done with fear which is bullshit let's get a little bit more through the tarot okay so aries i have a before and after tarot which if you know the writer weight it depicts the moments right before those moments and then right after those moments so i thought it was perfect for a part one and a part two so we're gonna use the before to see what happened to you with the last full moon and what's gonna happen by the next full moon all right, what's going on for Aries? What's the energy for Aries? Three, your Aries energy, three of wands. I love that. Okay, so that's getting started with something. Establishing something. Let's get more for Aries. Flip it over. The Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Yeah, there's something about waiting. You can see like he's kind of weeding, whacking. There's a lot of processes within growth. All right, more for Aries. What is it that Aries needs to see? We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So it's interesting we go from the Seven to the Eight of Pentacles. So there's definitely a progression here that happened with this last full moon in Capricorn. Um, and it feels like you got started with something, but this can also either be overworked and underpaid or just procrastinating. So maybe you're getting a little bit bored of the waiting process, but realize that's still part of the growth process. So let's get a little bit more for Aries with the after tarot and see a little bit of a sneak preview of what's going to come up by the next full moon in Capricorn that Cancer is also hosting. All right, Cancer Energy, we have the High Priestess. Okay, so there's something hidden, unknown, although she is the all-knowing one. The Sun, I feel like something's coming to light here, Leo Energy. All right, give me more for Aries. What's happening with Aries Energy by the next full moon? The Page of Cups in reverse. There's something about um, really needing to trust your intuition. I love that we have the Queen of Cups because she's the ultimate truster of her intuition, her feelings, her emotions, energy and motion. Trust that, because it feels like there's something that's going to come out of that trust within yourself. Let's get a little bit more. Yeah, I'm getting something about like, say no to doubt. Doubt, fears, insecurities. All right, let's get more for Aries. There was a good one one. All right, we have the mountain, number 21, obstacles, delays, challenges. So let's see what that's about. And I'm kind of getting that with the seven of pentacles too. It's almost feeling like there's too much of a waiting. And I know Aries don't necessarily like to wait. Aries, you guys are the first zodiac sign. So it's like, let's spring into action. We have the lady, feminine, female, figurine, coherent.
this feels very much i'm getting something too with the the woman on the mountain the high priestess the lady like a very divine feminine energy like a very trust your intuition like your intuition's about to be very on point aries in some aspect by the time the next full moon runs around or <laughs> rolls around i should say they're telling me to put that back in I'm hearing take this one on top. Okay. Your version of balance will look different than someone else's. Yeah, maybe for some of you, you know, with Aries energy especially, it's like you want to see things like happening and moving and and progressing. And it's almost like with this waiting energy, that's a part of the process, but it feels like nothing's really happening. I feel like things are finally going to, you know, be like sprouting up. Like if you work with herbs, they're finally going to sprout and you're going to see signs of progress and germination. But it's also like this energy of just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. I feel like there's something about just enjoy the process with you, Aries, like a big energy of that. All right, I'm going to get something from the spirit messages. What is it that Aries needs to see? Belief. I love that, right? It's all about your belief. And especially about crushing any belief of doubt or anything that says you can't do it. Can't is impossible is what I'm hearing. Can't is not real. So it feels like there's something that's going to sprout about by the next full moon, but it's all about your faith right now, Aries. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com or check out my description box. I should have my Etsy, my Patreon, my website, and my email, 333theempress at gmail.com if you want a personal reading. But yes, I will talk to you later. Thank you so much, Aries.